The virus that causes COVID-19 has been mutating for some time now. But most recently, several new variants have popped up around the globe that have started to create a lot of concern for scientists and physicians alike. Hi, I'm Dr. Lewis Grin, board-certified family medicine physician. And in today's video, we're going to talk about these new variants, what they mean to the new vaccines that have recently been released and how effective they might be against these new variants, and what it means for you as you decide whether or not to take the vaccine and how it might protect you. All right, let's get started. First, let's talk about what a viral variant is. As a virus replicates, it sometimes makes mistakes in its genetic code as it replicates. Many times these mistakes are found and corrected before the virus finishes replicating. However, sometimes these mistakes are missed and they end up being encoded in the final virus particle. Sometimes these mutations create an advantage to the new virus. In the case of the variants that we're talking about today, many times these variants equal increased infectivity or making it easier for them to infect other people. Currently, there are three variants that are causing concern. I'm just going to refer to them by their location where they were found rather than their scientific name as it can be confusing. So the first variant was discovered in the United Kingdom. So far, it looks like this variant does confer some additional ability for the virus to spread more easily. This was discovered because it quickly became the dominant strain in the United Kingdom in a short period of time, meaning that it outcompeted the other viral variants to infect more people quickly. The second strain was discovered in South Africa, and it appears to be doing the same thing, outcompeting other variants in the area to become the dominant strain. And then finally, there was a strain recently discovered in Brazil that appears to be, again, doing the same thing. Now the good news, so far at least, is that these variants do not seem to be more deadly. There is some concern that the UK variant may be, but more research is needed. It's also possible that because these variants are infecting a large number of people quickly, that the increased amounts of hospitalization and deaths may just simply be due to the sheer number of people that are becoming infected. Now, why are scientists and physicians concerned about this if so far all we're seeing is an increase in infectivity? Well, because the other thing that we're seeing and currently monitoring all variants for is the ability of the new vaccines that are currently being distributed across the world to still stop these new variants. So far, the good news about the UK variant is that the two main vaccines currently be administered, both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, appear to be unaffected by this new variant. In laboratory studies, they show the same level of effectiveness as they do against the other variants that have been in place for many months now. Now, the concerning thing about the South African variant, at least in the Moderna data that's been shared so far, is there is approximately a six-fold decrease in the ability of those individuals who have had the Moderna vaccine to mount an antibody response. Now, don't give up on the Moderna vaccine just yet, and it's likely the same thing with Pfizer as well, because, remember, the vaccines from both Pfizer and Moderna were highly efficacious, creating large amounts of antibody response. So, while a six-fold decrease in antibody response sounds concerning, it's still more than is needed to neutralize the virus. So therefore, we still feel like the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are still efficacious against the new variants. However, out of an abundance of caution, both manufacturers have started to work on updates to their vaccine in order to be more effective against these new variants as well as variants that may come in the future. Moderna has said that they are testing two strategies for their vaccine. First, they're going to test a booster shot of the currently available vaccine, as well as developing a new version of their vaccine that works more effectively against the new variants. 
The nice thing about the current mRNA vaccines is that they can be updated rather quickly, in a matter of weeks actually. So while these vaccines may not work as well against variants such as the South African variant, they do still work. So what does it mean when it comes for your turn to get the vaccine? It means you should still get it. The vaccines are still effective. While they may not reach the 95.4 or 95.5% effectiveness that has been quoted in their literature so far, they're still highly effective. Even the new vaccines that are coming out soon, both one by Novavax as well as Johnson & Johnson, which did include persons in locations where the new variants are spreading and unfortunately did show a little bit decreased efficacy, were still more efficacious than what we would originally have expected for any of our COVID-19 vaccines. If you remember, going back to the beginning of the vaccine development, most scientists were hoping for just a greater than 50% effectiveness. We're seeing effectiveness in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90%. No one could have fathomed that we would have vaccines this efficacious on the first go round. So while the vaccines may not be as effective, they are still considered effective and able to neutralize the virus. The other reason it's important for people to continue to get the vaccines is we don't want new variants developed either. And the way new variants develop and spread is by individuals being susceptible to the virus. By getting the vaccine, continuing to wear your mask, keep your distance, and washing your hands, we can prevent the spread of the virus and prevent the creation of new viral variants. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. It helps other people see this video. Please also consider subscribing to my channel and leaving me a comment down below, letting me know what you think about the new variants and whether or not you're going to get the vaccine when it's your turn. And remember, as always, be safe out there.